Hello YouTube, this is NecroStevo and you're watching one of my narrated Wi-Fi battles. Happy Friday everyone, today's match is an Ingu match that I had against Pika Crew, and it's using that same doubles team that I kinda just uh, put together randomly with a uh, wonderfully annoying executor. Just having uh, Sock there as kind of offensive backup, just you know, trying to, to wear some things down. Now I admit at the beginning of this match I completely missed that the Probo Pass has an air balloon, so I earthquake like a noob. Which is fine, you know, sometimes you're not paying attention at the beginning of the match. Um, my sock gets Thunder Wave, which really sucks because it's one of the few offensive um, things I have on this team. I bug buzz the uh, Probo Pass just to break it sturdy, which may or may not be... I, I wasn't really too worried about the paralysis because I have... Um, heal bell on my Grumpig, and unfortunately I got paralyzed as I try to close combat the Probo Pass, so that's going to come back and kind of be annoying. I, I do close combat Masharna, and there you can see the power of just having Black Belt behind it, and, and it also bluffs Choice Band fairly well. It looks like Choice Band damage, at least to most people. Um, I do know I don't want to stay in here, and since Shuckle is asleep, Masharna can't do much to uh, opposing psychic types typically, um, and it has a lot of HP, so I figure now is a good time to bring an Executor on the predicted psychic type attack, and um, try to get a Leech Seed off just because it has so much HP. I can do my Leech Seed, Substitute, Protect, Shenanigans until I get my Citrus Berry, all that good stuff. Um, since he toxic me, I figure now is a good time to toxic him so that when the Synchronize goes off, uh, it won't work, and then next turn I can go for um, my heal bell again, and he'll still be toxic, so, or she'll be toxic, um, that is. I wasn't expecting to see Struggle Bug from Shuckle. Fortunately, I get my sub up with uh, Patsy before the Struggle Bug goes off, and it, you know, it's not going to do that much damage, but I am quad weak to it, so it probably would have made me use on my Citrus Berry a little earlier than I really wanted to. And uh, Shuckle often carries rest, but I really wanted to go ahead and force it into a position where it had to use it. And uh, he's just going to keep on going for Struggle Bug, so I am not really in a position where I can use Focus Blast on Probo Pass either. I'm going to have to go for my Heal Bell and then hopefully switch out, or maybe just switch out and try to do it later. I do know that using Leech Seed on him is going to put some pressure on him to try to get rid of the Substitute on Patsy or cause him to switch around a lot more than he really wants to. Here I am going to heal Bell just because I know he's probably just going to keep on struggle bugging. And uh, Toxic combined with Leech Seed, combined with Protect, that's extremely annoying as you guys know from the last battle. So I am just going to try to force him to use his rest uh, earlier than he probably wants to if he is carrying it. Now he brings out Articuno, I admit that I wasn't really sure what to expect from this thing, especially in doubles, maybe uh, just maybe firing off blizzards, I wasn't really sure what to expect from it. Um, and I think Articuno gets Tailwind as well. Uh, but I, I didn't really know what to expect from it. I did go for Protect there just to kind of scout and to get Sock in safely. Uh, let the Sturdy activate. And then I could go for some extremely powerful reversals. Now I did just go for Stone Edge there. Unfortunately it missed, but that's not going to end up mattering too much. I really should have maybe targeted the Masharna. But uh, here, I didn't really know if Reversal would be strong enough to take out the Torterra. So I figured, what the heck, let's just go for it and we'll see what happens. Uh, and he switches out his Masharna. He probably did that expecting the payback because he brought in Probo Pass right there. And I'm able to knock out his Torterra for free. I was really surprised by the damage here. Um, of course, I think he did say that he did have an offensive Torterra, but still... That did a lot more damage than I thought it was going to. And then I'm also able to take out the Shuckle, so this is great. Now, unfortunately, I am unable to take out uh, Probo Pass, but I basically got a two-for-one special there. I was running Supermarket Sweep, ran in, got all the turkeys, with the turkeys just being uh, his two Pokemon. Unfortunately for him, he was unable to go and get the ham specials, which you guys know how much the hams are worth in Supermarket Sweep. And predicting a bug attack from Beedrill, I just go into Weezing. Uh, more Leap Seeding. I've, I've, I've lost track of how many times I've used Leap Seed during this battle. 
but suffice to say, it probably just wasn't enough. I could have definitely used Leaf Seed more, just Leaf Seed things that I've already Leaf Seeded. Uh, I do carry Fire Blast on Weezing, which is good for Probopass or Beedrill. I figured he would predict that, and I went ahead and went for the um, Will-O-Wisp on Purple Pass because I can't Toxic it, and I just wanted some residual damage, uh, but I miss. So it's like, darn it, all right, maybe we can try again next turn, but for now, we have to get out of here because Masharna is back, and Weezing cannot take on Masharna. So, uh, I actually, why did I stay in there? I don't actually remember. I think I predicted him to predict me to switch because that would make sense. Um, but unfortunately for me, everything on his side of the field just gets his HP back, and I, I basically leap seed that turn and get paralyzed. So I let him get his HP back with Moonlight and rest up. That means the will o -Wisp miss really didn't matter at all. Uh, and I really should have just let Weezing die, because then I would have still had Magmar to work with, instead of trying to switch Magmar in here. Um, the Psychic does not do that much damage, of course, because Magmar is carrying Eviolite. But, on the other hand, I can't really do that much to his Pokemon. Um, all I have are neutral attacks. Here, I try to knock down the Masharna low enough to where it will die from uh, Toxic at the end of the turn, hopefully. And his Probopass just had its second turn of sleep, so it's going to wake up next turn. And I was just like, okay, I need some things to die this turn, or he's going to get all of his HP back again. Fortunately, Masharna goes down to the Toxic slash Leap Seed. Uh, here I just get a chance to Fire Blast Articuno again, and me outspeeding him just shows that he is a more defensive set. Interestingly, he Ice Beams my uh, Magmar, probably just predicting the Protect um, from Patsy, which makes sense. Uh, unfortunately, I am able to get a good bit of damage in there on Magmar, which is going to force him into Roosting much earlier than he probably wanted to. And that's a little bit debatable. Maybe I should have gone for the Promo Pass just because now I know it carries rest, focusing on it would uh, stop it from using rest, but I don't think I would have been able to KO it. Uh, fortunately, though, I do still have Focus Blast, and now that uh, my Grumpig is not affected by all those uh, struggle bugs earlier, now it's going to be enough to take out the um, Promo Pass from the HP level that it's at. So, you know, I'm able to come in here, kind of use my psychic power to charge that through, and, and it's not very often that Grumpig gets KOs with Focus Blast. I kind of just carry it as kind of utility. Uh, and here, I was hoping that he would overpredict. I don't know why. Um, and it didn't really work out, but that's okay. Hopefully, at the end here, uh, I, I kind of just have to... I think he's down to his last two Pokemon, so I kind of need to predict around... Um, his Pokemon's attacks and protect when I need to, and substitute when I need to, because if he predicts my protect correctly, a four times super effective X Scissor is definitely going to KO Patsy, probably even with max HP and max defense. So here I predict, hoping to just put some, um, put his Beedrill to sleep, and uh, that actually works out. I don't know if he's carrying max speed on his Beedrill or not, but uh, I'm, I'm able to work through that pretty well. Unfortunately, he does get the freeze. I think he only got the freeze there because having Beedrill and Butterfree on the same field at the same time is just too epic for most things to deal with. So, with that being said, that's okay. You know, I live with 2 HP, but I had a Focus Ash anyway. Um, and he does get a chance to go for x or on Patsy, but I'm really, really surprised that I took that that well. Unfortunately, even with the Citrus Berry, I'm not going to be able to take another one. But, fortunately for me, I, I decided to sub that turn. Uh, so, while I can't Toxic Beedrill, I can Protect. Maybe my Butterfree will fall out, but no. No luck there. It would have been really, really nice to hit Beedrill with um, Bug Buzz, because that was my Tinted Lens Butterfree. So even though he would resist it, it would still do a sizable chunk of damage. Now, even though the sun isn't up, I'm able to get my Harvest 50% chance there on that Berry, and get back up to a range where it's very likely that I'll be able to live another x scissor should he um break my substitute uh and then wheezing of course is my last thing and is paralyzed but i'm able to break through the paralysis and finish him off with fire blast so that was a safe solid battle right there as aa amazing would say shout outs to him one of the other bre or i don't think he uploads anymore which is sad but he, uh, he you know he breeds his pokemon as well but i hope you guys enjoyed that match um and if you didn't get a chance to see it i uploaded a bonus 
video yesterday, which was a couple of I, uh, International Challenge League battles that I had, where a Sinchino takes down a Metagross. So if you're interested in as to how that happened, I'm going to leave a link to that battle in the description, and you guys can go check that out. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you all later. Bye now.